Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and if you've been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on your Nintendo Switch, you'll know that just like everyone else, you don't have enough DIY recipes. Everyone wants them all, and nobody has enough. It's just kind of the way that it seems to work. So how can you get some more of them? Well, <laughs> that's why we've got this video. We're going to take you through all the things you can do to get as many as you can in a single day. Now, there is no hard limit, and I suppose in theory, you could keep getting them infinitely as long as you've got the time during the day, but even so, we've all got lives, so let's streamline it, eh? But anyway, that's more than enough waffling, let's dive right into things. <laughs> The first and most obvious way to get DIY recipes, and one that you're probably already brutally aware of, is finding messages in bottles on the beach. These bottles appear randomly on the beach, so you'll need to go around your entire island's coastline just to make sure that you haven't missed it, because I know I have. Open up the bottle, it's got a DIY recipe in it and a message you never read. Good stuff. However, if you've got multiple human residents on your island, you can get more than one of these per day. It's essentially one message bottle per player per day, so if you have an alternate account, which <laughs> I know I do, you can pick up a second one and then just drop the DIY recipe if it's something you genuinely want or need or if it's a peach umbrella. There are reports from some players that they've got more than one message in a bottle per day, just even with a single account. Unfortunately, we can't really confirm this. I mean, I think I've had it happen to me, but at the same time, I can't confirm it, so uh, we'll just go with the one per day with a question mark, eh? But if you do want to get more, you can go on a mystery island tour using a Nook Miles ticket, as they also have a chance to spawn a message in a bottle on them, However, it's not a guarantee. Another way to get these wonderful cards is to shoot down floating balloon presents. But unfortunately, the likelihood of you getting one is entirely down to random chance. We've already got a guide to balloon presents, which you can find by clicking the link in the description. Uh, once this video is finished, eh? Gotta get that watch time. Another method you may well be aware of is walking in on your neighbors by chance while they happen to be crafting something within their homes. Keep an eye out for any villagers who have smoke coming out of their chimneys because that means they're indoors and they might just be crafting something. Talk to them as they're whacking away with their hammer trying to create a flower crown or something. Speak to them and they'll give you the DIY recipe of the thing they're trying to create. They never make the thing they're trying to create as far as I know, but fair play to them. Maybe it always fails. Maybe they can't read. And it's not just you that can get in on the action. Your friends can also come to your island and learn a DIY recipe from one of your residents as well. It's a really handy way to kind of share around and maybe, you know, you've got something really good like, I don't know, a cutting board and you want your friends to have the same thing. Well, get them over to your island, charge them a fortune, <laughs> and then let them get the DIY recipe. It's brilliant. You can also get them by inviting villagers to your campsite using amiibo cards. Just go up to the kiosk in resident services and invite someone over to your campsite using the amiibo card that looks like them. Then when they arrive in your campsite, which is literally immediately, you can talk to them repeatedly until they express an interest in taking something home with them that was made here on your island. And if you don't know how to make what they want, they'll just flat out give you the DIY recipe for it then and there. As usual, it's still randomized and you may well just get one that you've already got, that's just how it is. And you can only invite one villager per day, but even so, it's a handy way to get another one just easily, one that I constantly forget to do. Incidentally, you can also use this method to invite them to stay on your island permanently. If you'd like to learn more, there's another guide link in the video description, watch it. And lastly, more as a side note than anything, you can buy DIY recipes from Nook's Cranny and from the Resident Services kiosk. These are only a set list, and if you're hardcore into the game, you probably already have all of them, or at least all the ones you want, but even so, it's worth just going through and making sure that you haven't missed anything. So, if you follow this guide and you get one message in a bottle from your beach, one from a mystery island tour, one from a floating balloon present, one by walking in on your neighbours, and one from inviting a villager to your campsite, that gives you a grand total of five DIY recipes a day, and it can only go up. As far as we're aware, there's no limit on how many you can shoot down from floating balloon presents, or indeed, well, I suppose within reason, how many you can find by going on mystery island tours and walking in on neighbours. Although walking in on neighbours 
There probably is a hard limit, we just don't know it. And there you have it. Hopefully now you'll be able to get all the DIY recipes that you've ever wanted, except the ironwood dresser, because my research indicates it doesn't actually exist. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you cram that subscribe button into a message bottle and then disappoint someone when it's not a DIY recipe, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.